closely monitored but left in complete privacy, Malati the Sumatran tiger took just six minutes to produce this little one. The cub is the result of a whirlwind romance. The parents were brought together only nine months ago. Courtship between tigers is hit and miss, and when it's miss, it can be catastrophic. But between these two, things moved quickly, and soon they were mating up to 30 times a day. We knew from the, um, from the matings and that that there was a very high probability of a conception to fit young animals, so there was no reason why not. And so we just we kept our distance, um, certainly in the last few weeks as well, leave Malati alone, and it um, seemed to be the right thing to do because she had a nice, peaceful birth. Malati is by all accounts showing all the signs of being a good mother. The hidden cameras mean the cub can be monitored closely without any contact yet with humans. And with the number of Sumatran tigers always at risk, this birth is hugely important in terms of conservation. Here at the zoo we actually coordinate the European and global breeding programmes and this is a tool that ensures zoos cooperate so that the zoo tiger population is genetically very diverse and healthy and in terms of the European population this is the most important birth this year so we are very happy and the zoo population is very happy as well. The last time London saw the arrival of a new tiger cub, John Major was Prime Minister and England hosted Euro 96. The timing of this birth is perfect for the zoo. Just when things are winding down post-summer, Londoners now have a new draw for their own little cubs. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Really happy about it. It's great that they've managed to do that. Oh, lovely. Yes, the baby died. Is that exciting news, Eva? Yes. That's nice. As for the father, although he's aware of the new arrival, he's taken a more hands-off approach. They still don't know if it's a boy or a girl, and for the time being, mother and cub will stay out of the limelight. There's also no name either, although favourites include Elvis, and in light of another recent London birth, George. Emma North, BBC News.